Joanne Tan from Brooklyn, New York. How are you? Dancing your way down here. Now I happen to know you have a kitty cat that you absolutely adore. He's my little boy. He's yes. your little boy. We have a picture of your cat. Aww. <laughs> What's his name? Mr. Bingley. He's a very literary cat. I can tell he's literary. Has he been helping you warm up and brush up for a millionaire? Or? Well, you know, he's a very high-maintenance cat, and so Mama has to bring home the money so he can live the lifestyle to which he deserves. All right, Joanne, then we better get cracking here for the cat. Here's the money behind round one. Computer, please randomize your money. Okay, now that's all hidden. Now here are the categories for your questions. And, computer, please randomize the questions. And now that everything is all mixed up, Joanne, are you ready? I'm wondering about the furry presents, because I've gotten some unpleasant furry presents, but I hope this one's a good surprise. Okay. You all set to play? That's right. You got it. Let's play Millionaire. Here's your first question, Joanne. As any foodie can tell you, a gooey duck is a type of what? Clam, root vegetable, tropical fruit, waterfowl. I've been at lots of weird Chinese restaurants, <laughs> and my mom loves to force me to eat these strange things. So I have encountered a gooey duck, and it's a clam. A, final answer. It is a clam. Nice going, Joanne. Let's start building your back. How much money is time this question? Appreciate Now we're just 13 questions away from a million. Pencil me in is the category. A person is most likely to use a styptic pencil after he has done what annoying thing? Chipped a nail, locked his keys in the car, stepped in gum, cut himself shaving. I wore pants today for a reason. And I'm um, pretty sloppy in the shower. And that's because I get lots of razor burns, so I'll say D, cut himself shaving. Final? Final. Cut himself shaving is right. Okay, how much money is behind this question? from Brooklyn, New York, who brought along her mom and her dad, her dad Winston and her mom Sean are in the audience. Nice to see you both. Thanks for joining us. Your daughter's doing a terrific job working her way through round one. $22,000 in the bank so far, 12 away from the million. You still have all your lifelines. You ready to keep playing? I'm ready. I'm ready too. Let's play. The man born Desiderio Alberto Arnez E. de Acha III is best remembered today as a what? Sitcom actor, tennis player, painter, opera singer. Great Marley's Ghost. Um, Lucy! A, the sitcom actor, final. Splain Lucy, yes, Rick Desi Arnez. Come on. $22,500. 11 away from the million, Joanne. World War II is the category. During World War II, Winston Churchill called the evacuation of over 300,000 Allied troops by boat from what French city? A miracle. Ron, Dunkirk, Nance, Calais. I was discussing this movie with my very good friend, um, Everett Ortner from Park Slope. He was also a World War II veteran. Uh, we were talking about the movie Atonement. And there was a very long tracking shot in that movie, and I think it was about the evacuation of Dunkirk. B, final. Dunkirk is the right answer, Joanne. How much money is behind this question? We're going to add another $10,000 to Joanne's bank. $32,500. the game because you're doing so well. We will see you next time. Hope to see you as well. Until then, from New York, everybody, bye-bye.
Contestant is a perfect four for four. Everything is perfect except for the fact that her soulmate, a cat named Mr. Bingley, couldn't be here to root her on. From Brooklyn, New York, please welcome Joanne Chan. Hi, honey. Nice to see you. Mr. Bingley is the light of your life. He's the most important thing in your life, That's right? That's right. I literally would not be here today without him. Without him, really? Before we tell the story, let's show the audience a picture of Mr. Bingley. Yes, there he is. <laughs> now, he is, how old is your cat? I've had him since uh, 2007. 2007, He's okay. a hand-me-down cat. A hand-me-down cat. And when you, say, when you said you wouldn't be here without him, what do you mean? Well, that's because uh, the karma is great with us because I, uh, his previous owner couldn't keep him, so I saved him from the firing squad. And then in return, he rescued me from a burning building. Really? Wow. So, did he wake you up or? Yes, I'm a very heavy sleeper and my neighbors had left a candle burning. Um, so he came and clawed at me and uh, got in my face and luckily I was able to get out and alert the fire department. So check your uh, batteries and your smoke alarms and spay and exactly. neuter people. Exactly, or get a Mr. Bingley for sure. <laughs> your, your mom and dad are in the audience, Winston and Jean, nice to see you again. Just to recap, you are still in round one. You are 10 questions away from the million. You got 32,500 in your bank. Best news of all, you have all of your lifelines. Are you ready to keep playing? Well, how does my hair look? Your hair looks gorgeous. Then let's go. All right, audience, you ready? <laughs> then let's go and move there. All right, Joanne, first question. In 2006, Meatloaf sued his former songwriter over the rights to what phrase, which was the title of his hit 1977 album? Cold Day in Hell. Hell or high water, hell has no fury, bat out of hell. I make a pretty mean meatloaf. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not really familiar with this musical artist. I'm just going to take the advice that my dad told me uh, the night before my SATs, and I'll just pick D, bat out of hell, final. I don't for one second believe you didn't know that. Okay, just for the record, it is Bat Out of Hell. You got it right. All right, you. How much money is behind this question? Five thousand. Five hundred dollars. Nine away from a million. Company names is your next category. You still got that twenty-five thousand available for your bank. What business was known as the Halloid Company before it took the name of its most famous product? Caterpillar, Coca-Cola, Xerox, eBay. Uh. But you know you have your lifelines if you need it. Leaf and lizards. Uh, I'm just gonna say C, Xerox, final. It is Xerox, you have it right. Of all your lifelines, four questions separating you from round two, at which point you get to keep all the money in your bank. Okay. Furry presents. Oh, this is nice, Mr. Bingley. Bo, the first family's Portuguese water dog, was a gift from what notable American? Martha Stewart, Bill Gates, Ted Kennedy, Oprah Winfrey. I'm kind of leaning towards the Lion of the Senate which would be Ted Kennedy. So C, final answer. Yeah, Ted Kennedy, he loved it. <laughs>
much money is behind this question? $1,000 or $41,000? from round two. Old Man River is your next category. Boy, everything from 100 to 25,000 up there. Stretching about 1,120 miles, the Mackenzie River is the longest river in what country? Australia, Canada, South Africa, New Zealand. I'm gonna shout out to my uncles in Toronto and just say Canada. B, final answer. You are freaking me out. It is Canada. You got it right. Joanne. All right. How much more money are we adding to Joanne's? $26,500. Mr. Bingley's very happy. And you better be happy, too, because you're two away from round two. This question, next one is worth either $100 or $2,000. Battle Royale is your category. In 2010, what popular snack food launched an online war pitting fans of the Puffs against fans of the Crunchy? Cheetos, Doritos, Fritos, Tostitos. I had to cut out a lot of junk food uh, before I got on. Before you did this show, you said? Before I got on the show, yes. Why? Um, because the camera adds 10 pounds. I know, oh, I know oh. not for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's no, no, I didn't know what you meant. Oh, yeah, know it does. Working out. <laughs> but for me, I definitely had to cut out the Cheetos. So I'll say A, final answer. Yeah, it is Cheetos. The Cheetos, I know. Joanne, but I got to tell you, we have never had a contestant this season get all the way to the end of round one. One question, and you are into round two, and still have all of your lifelines. Your play is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I just asked Joanne in the break, I said, you didn't guess at any of these, did you? And she said, just don't give me a math question. Or a that, sports question. Math or sports. Okay, that's your Achilles heel. Well, so far, so good. It is really quite something. One question to go. In round one, this is the final question. We know it is worth $100. Are you ready to see the question? Bring it on. Bring it on. Let's go. All right. For $100, Timothy Q. Mouse initially frightens but then befriends the title character of what classic Disney film? Bambi, Pinocchio, Dumbo, Peter Pan. I think I'm going to say this for all the people with big ears like me. <laughs> and go with Dumbo, C, final answer. You have 68,600 <laughs> round one. Without using one lifeline, Joanne Chan, amazing play. You are now in round two. Your next question will be for $100,000. It is time to play Classic Millionaire. <laughs> Joanne, you are just four questions away from the million. You have all of your lifelines. It's unbelievable. $68,600. That is your bank. That is now your money. Here is your question for $100,000. A famous 1935 edition of the James Joyce novel, Ulysses, features illustrations by what renowned painter? Rene Magritte, Henri Matisse, Pete Mondrian, Joanne Miro. All these artists are awesome. I'm leaning. 
going towards Magritte, but I can't say for sure. So I'm just going to hop, skip, and jump over this one. Okay, finally you're going to jump a question. You don't have to answer it. Let's see the answer. Maybe it is Magritte. That's the one you thought. Matisse. So glad that you did jump over it, okay? So let's jump over the $100,000 question. You are now just three questions from the million. Here is your next question for $250,000. The star Betelgeuse, one of the brightest in the night sky, can be seen at what spot on the constellation Orion's body? Belly button, knee, forehead, shoulder. This is a great movie. <laughs> Tim Burton. Um, but I think the audience might know better than me. So I'm going to leave it in your capable hands. All right, audience, Joanne needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. Okay, 43% believe it is belly button. Now, here's the deal here. You get this right, you have $250,000. You miss it, you will go down to $25,000, or you can walk with $68,600. Final answer? Final. It is shoulder. The answer. Oh. Joanne, but you're leaving with $25,000 and our utmost respect to our community.